Oh, girl, stop playing with me. What? Ah! Look how big this crawfish is. My goodness. Okay, that was big. So they different sizes. Okay, wow, that's a big one. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm <laughs> Let me try the little one first. The little one don't look so like don't look it don't look as scary, right? Alright. Testing one two one two. It's been a long day, and you just want to go away. You can't sleep at night, and now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow, but you're going to feel out of day. We can tingle it away. Now I'm here. Okay, y'all. Hopefully, every everybody that sent me a box or sent me a gift or sent me an email, I'm not even a letter, sent me a letter. I hope that everything is here and nothing is lost. But yes, I am finally here picking up all the packages. At sometimes it was it was very sad. At sometimes there were tears, and at some point there we laughed. But with my children, with Nadine and Dream, and they're grown. I say children because they, they, I'm the mom, and they'll always be my babies, like a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all will always be Spirit's baby. You know, some of y'all are like my sister by I was just thinking, I don't know why, but that thought about I said, you know what? I need to look in the grocery store. You know how you shopping for your groceries, and you, I always get vanilla cream? I wonder if I'll be able to get lavender cream, because I actually really, really like I tell y'all, Dream cooked that food. He cooked like he was in an upscale restaurant. It was so good. My son can really cook. And I loved it because I love when Nadine cooked for me and I love when Dream cooked for me. See the lavender? Can you see it? It's lavender at the top. And then it's creamy all the way down. Just a vanilla bean made with oat milk. It looks so good, y'all. It looks so good. You have to be, when you're having conversations that are not just helpful, felt but maybe deep and some conversations you don't want to have but you have to have because some people cannot really move on without having a conversation even though y'all still have good times together like me and my son and my daughter and we connect and we we love each other as a family and we spend a lot of time with each other we end up breaking out into look like maybe like small arguments because something is deep rooted things from way in the past and years ago that you might have either forgot about it or you you have memory blockage or you just uh you didn't process it because you moved on from the situation where the other person might not have moved on for the situation that's why everybody's story um could be different sometimes when stuff happen um people take some stuff from it um, I like, like, uh, with me, um, a lot of stuff happened to me in my life that goes down that, um, I have to deal with, but I try to take some good stuff from a situation. And if I can't take nothing good from it, I try to take what kind of lesson that I can learn from this situation going left or didn't go the way that I wanted to, or just, um, didn't pan out, um, the, you know, on the, like in a good note, it didn't pan out in a good note, but what can I pull from this situation? I need to, so I can get an understanding, because I can tell that my son had a lot of passion about this. He was really upset about this, because he was trying to tell us that he's not um, that person. Because when he think about his father and all the stuff that his father doing, has not doing, but has been you, um, file and police report every time I, I, I see something, hear something, or they notify me about something, and I feel like I'm not going to stop until they stop trying to steal my identity, because I feel like they're actually trying to take it. Like, not just use it, but I feel like they're trying to steal it. So that's, that's crazy.
He harvests that inside of him for so long without really breaking it down, talking to us and explaining it to us and explaining to us why it made him so upset. And um, so there was things that happened in our life that Dream would do and we would be confused. We would, we would not understand like what's going on. So really overwhelmed with thinking about everything. So I just, just went to bed. But yeah, so in the back, I got a new wheelchair. I gotta name her. It's not really a wheelchair, it's like an assistant chair. It's not something I could wheel around, but if I um, gotta walk a long way or when I'm going in the hospital, it's easier for me and Nadine to get in there because then that way. Okay, y'all, gonna... this is probably gonna be my last stop for today. Nadine's going to Kroger's. She's picking up quinoa, cucumbers, pears. I think we got apples in the refrigerator already. And um, some stuff for salads. Um, because I think we're going to be doing like salads two or three times a week. Um, yeah. I think that's the, the food plan that we had planned on. Doing salads two or three times a week. So I had a salad the other day that Nadine made for me. I should have took a picture of it, y'all. I should have shared it with y'all. It was so pretty. It was so good. She had chopped up lettuce in it. Apples in it. And she had celery in it. And um, what else was in the salad? Oh my, spinach, sunflower seeds, and she made the, the sauce to go in it, like oil and um, vinegar and something else. But it was so delicious. It was light and airy, but it was so good. I tore that thing up. And I said, Dad, I should have shared that with y'all. But you know, so maybe like in the upcoming few weeks or whatever, we're gonna be having um salads here and there for asmr you know and i love salads y'all know me i love me a good salad oh yeah okay adrian adrian one of my patreons says she got her cup y'all so flower kish got hers um i think uh, um alexandria i think she got hers and then uh, flower kish got hers oh my goodness it made me feel so good that they've been patreons long enough that they got the free mug that i created i mean i i feel like i could do a better job <laughs> because i thought it was so cute i loved it and when i went to go show nadine nadine was like mom why didn't you do like a, all these pictures you be taking why didn't you put yourself on a mug i said okay I didn't think about that. She was like, <laughs> y'all, when I think about myself, I don't think about, like, when I'm doing stuff, I don't think about, like, my picture. You know what I'm saying? But I thought about, okay, next time I do something, like, really fly and I take a picture and it come out nice, I'm going to go ahead and create a mug for my Patreon people. My, my Patreon people. But I'm so glad they get in um, the mug from me. I'm so happy about that. So I was just going to do like a quick update on my goals and plans. Okay, so I say between uh, three months and six months, my goal is uh, to vlog more. And not only to vlog more, but to do the Patreon vlog. Like when I'm talking to my Patreons. That way I can talk to them. I can say their name. I can answer their questions. We could talk about whatever they had mentioned or whatever. So that's going to be one of the things that um, I'm going to be doing in the near future. So I'm looking forward to that. I got quite of a bit of uh, some things to do that I am closing out on. Okay, so I'm going to be closing out on my documentary and about... I say about, I, I, yeah, I wish I could be done in three months, but I'm going to close it out in like six months. I should be completely done fuming and talking about everything. And once I'm done, um, I'm going to kind of like set it aside for a while, not thinking about it no more until I'm ready to start editing it. And then in the midst of that, I'm going to be writing and taking notes of all the story times that I want to do. I already have a list of all the story times that I want to do from the past that I want to do. But I have put that list in storage by mistake. It's in storage. Uh, when I run across it, then I'm going to look through that and I'm going to start doing some story time from that. But I'm going to make a new list of some, uh, some story times that I want to do that happened in my life in the last freaking, um, I would say, three to four years. I 
do you know what three years three years in the last three years so I'm I'm gonna do that too so yeah I'm thinking about I don't know if it's gonna be uh, this starting like at the end of the year going into 2025 but having like a, a story time rumba like every week it's gonna be a new story time like every single week like just going into story time going into story time every single week just and, and along with like advice videos or chit chat videos stuff like that so that's one of the things that i'm gonna do i'm thinking about just doing a lot of talking at the end of the year all the way for like the next uh, couple of years just doing a lot of talking and finally just seeing all the things i've been wanting to say and get a lot of things on my chest um and in the midst of that still trying to be able to like you know, take care of myself and get myself together. Um, oh, yeah, I'm dealing with it like right now. My face hurt. <laughs> my chin hurt. My face hurt. Like, it's just like I've been dealing with some stuff, y'all. I'm just like, just trying to get through life. Just trying to, and it's just always something, but I, I'm, I'm pushing through. I'm always um, giving it my best shot. Thank goodness for this morning. I had the air on earlier now. Y'all, they said it was going to be like 70 degrees. Child, it's hot out here now. I was complaining earlier that I was cold. It is so hot. But that's how it is. I don't know if y'all do this, but I live in Houston, right? And y'all know, like, in the middle of the night, I get cold and I take the blankets off. Like a blanket. Like, I literally sometimes use two blankets. Um, I take them off and then I, I, it'd be so hot and then I wait like an hour or two then it's cold again and then I put the blankets back on like one minute it feel cool one minute it feel hot that's how it is like I child it's just always like that I told Nadine I said Dave is it me or did it just get super hot she said mine's hot out here it's hot she said it was cold earlier and maybe it was cooler earlier because it was raining and it still looked kind of like it's going to rain and stuff like that but it done got hot out here, y'all. And I could tell because my wig feeling kind of weird. Look, I got to go home and, and comb through this wig, cut through it, and brush through it. And, and girl, shoot, this, like, mm-mm. I'm about ready to take this wig off. I already washed my hair. I'm about ready. you enjoyed the sounds have a wonderful day afternoon and night hopefully you won't get to see the end hopefully you sleep and i will see you in the next video bye i'm about ready to like put some moisturizer in my hair and just put it in two braids and tuck it under and that's the way i'm be here my wearing my hair at this point like oh mm, my phone just went off let me see who is that Oh, okay, it's Nadine. Let me see what she's saying. I just told Nadine to give me some cereal. She's gonna ask me what kind. So, oh, I'm gonna see if she see Cookie Chris. She probably said she passed the hour. One thing, once Nadine passed an hour, that's it. She ain't gonna be doing a whole bunch of walk and looking for no stuff. I gotta ask for stuff before she do it. I was just telling her, dang, I just wanna get to the point where I could just shop again, y'all. Just do, like, go and shop and do my thing and stuff like that it's just always something and right now i'm dealing with no mm -mm, i can't be like just out and about like that i can be out but i can't just be all up in the stores like that because i don't feel well enough to do that i have just enough energy i can drive you know and go here and there and take care of business but just be shopping i don't have that kind of energy 
Like, I'll just be feeling like, oh, God, I need to go get in the bed. You know what I'm saying? But this morning, I took um, all my vitamins. I took my B-complex to try to keep my spirits up and try not to feel um, down about some things. I got some things going on in my personal life. <sighs> I'm just not ready to talk about it yet. I'm just not ready to talk about it. Just not ready to talk about it. Y'all know how it is. I got me a bag of leaves. I saw this little girl. She and her mom, they were sitting in front of the car in front of me, and they were just tearing up their chips. They were just sitting there talking and tearing up their chips. It reminded me of me and Nadine when we were younger. The little girl was like 11, and her mom was with her, and they sitting there eating the chips, right, and talking. And I was like, oh, that reminds me of me and Nadine. And they, but usually when I see people eat chips, make me want to eat chips. But right now, I just had... Um, some sunflower seeds, which I'm surprised I don't have on my lip. And I had uh, some M&Ms. hope I don't forget them in this car, this car you know, because it get hot. And I don't want them to melt. And then, um, oh, I got my sandwich from earlier. I had made me a fish sandwich in case I get hungry. And I'm still going to eat it if I get hungry. Um, but I haven't got hungry. Uh, but you know what? I do eat. I literally eat once a day. I don't eat two or three times a day. Like, if I eat breakfast, I probably won't eat uh lunch or dinner if i eat lunch i'm not going to eat dinner and i didn't have breakfast and if i eat dinner i didn't have lunch or breakfast like i eat once a day but i do snack i snack whenever like i feel like i want something to snack on but i don't snack all the time like the other night i didn't snack or anything i had dinner and i had no snack you know what i'm saying and then um like last night um i didn't snack or have dinner i just was just i bought my food but I mentally just couldn't see myself eating it. I just felt like I just need to get in the bed. Like, there's some nights that I just, I'm just done with the day, y'all. I'm just done with everything. I just feel like I need to close my eyes, pray, and just make it out that day. You know what I mean? But the next morning, I was so freaking hungry. I ate so good this morning. I had fish, screen beans, mashed potatoes, and corn on the cob and chow I tore that up. I know my fish sandwich is going to be good later when I eat it. I might eat it when I get in the house because I got to go edit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going home to edit y'all for edit y'all vlog, edit y'all ASMR video. Yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And um, vlog watchers, yes, let me know y'all the vlog watchers. Let me know y'all here. Thank you so much. I'll try to catch y'all another vlog soon. I'll try not to be gone so long this time. But have a wonderful day, afternoon, and night. Yeah. And I want to see y'all in the next video. I'll say <sighs> hey y'all good morning it is morning time the sun finally popped out thank goodness I can finally feel that vitamin D because that's what I want I want to be able to feel the heat my camera's acting funny today y'all I cannot wait I cannot wait I'm hoping maybe for my birthday I can get me a new camera <laughs> I want a new camera because um I don't know my camera's acting funny on me and I don't know if because I had it for quite a while I had it since 2018 19 21 2 3 4 6 years I had to get okay okay so what I got left two more years <laughs> two more years I'm gonna get me out of the camera before my camera acts up for me y'all but good morning y'all I am out and about and I'm so happy I'm out but I wish my water was cold but Walgreens refrigerator is down. But it's not hot. That means the inside is cold. 
they have the AC really going. I just want to say good morning, y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all in a little bit. Because I got a run I want to do. And then I'm going to talk to y'all for a little bit. <sighs> hey, Spirit Lights. Okay. I hate the fact that I was complaining about being cold. And now I'm freaking hot. Like, I'm so freaking hot. I got the AC on. I got the AC on the lowest possible. I don't even know how many degrees it is. But it is so freaking hot. Um... And I saw some people look like they is dressed already for like a beach gear child. Summertime, and it's just hot, okay? But um, I want to talk to y'all for a little bit. I got like a few minutes. I've been um, living and running. I had like an appointment I had to go to. And I wanted to um, maybe get me some crabs and uh chill out you know what i'm saying chill or either i even wanted to get me some live crabs and maybe like uh find me a uh, uh, place because houston has a lot of places you can go grill at so i was going to put them in the limo for you and grill them um i don't know i think i would like those i think i would like that or either get me some a red snapper and grill it but girl i'm not even gonna have time today y'all i'm not even gonna have time to do that Tana went so fast, so fast, and then I'm thinking, even though I wanted to do that, I don't even know if I want to be out there, because even though I got on, like, a t-shirt, this is a hot, like, t-shirt, the, the, the material is so freaking hot, <laughs> it's, so hot. <laughs> it's so freaking hot, and I was going to put on a sweater, thank God I didn't, I, don't, I wonder if it's so hot, because last night, there was a storm. It was raining so hard. And it was coming in two different directions. Like, it was, like, pouring down on one side and then pouring down on another side. But, child, I, um, I started to get my phone. And I was going to record the sound of the rain. But then when I was going to pick up my phone, freaking watching online too much, just watching stuff my phone done went dead so i just said girl go to sleep go to sleep because you gotta get up early in the morning anyway and you got things to do <sighs> okay so let me tell y'all something y'all sometimes i forget i think i i don't know why but it never it still hasn't really hit me um that i'm recognizable i don't know I feel like I'm just an average person. Like, I know I'm an average person. Like, I don't know if that's coming out the wrong way, but I feel like I look just like any average person, just an a, a, a older black woman. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, child, oh, my God. I got the most awkward steers in, like, the last two days. And I, I'd rather somebody just say, are you? Or just, you know, sometimes I'll look and I'll smile. And then they'll, sometimes they'll kind of act like they weren't looking at me. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes I don't, I just, they staring at me, so I'm staring at them back. But I'll be saying to myself, okay, all right, they don't turn back three, four times. They're staring at, are they about to come over here or something? And then I'm saying to myself, okay, it, it could be that they saying, why that lady look familiar? That could be it. <laughs> I'm going to get me some tent for my window. I think for my birthday, I'm going to get me some tent for my window. I, I don't know. Because I don't know. I, I, I just don't. I keep. It just don't like stick in my mind. Like when I go out, I'm going to have to like. Be prepared that somebody might just be like. Or they just like looking at me like. And I'm just like. God because like seriously when I moved to Texas I, 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 I'm from up north I'm from the east coast I'm originally from New Jersey and I lived a lot I raised my kids in Virginia so I'm used to like speaking like speaking rather you speak to me or you not I'm like hey how you doing hello you know just speaking when I got to Texas, I found that they a lot of times they don't do that in certain places. Like certain places they do. A lot of places, different parts of Texas they do. But in Houston, it's like, why are you speaking to me? What you want? What you up to? You know what I mean? 
<laughs> it took me a long time to get. So now I don't just automatically be like, but sometimes I can't help myself. <laughs> Oh my God, I love your nails. Oh my God, your lipstick is so pretty. Oh my God, you are so pretty. Or I may say, oh my God, you're handsome. But I can't help myself. I, Nadine said, Mom, you just, we like, we're the opposite. Nadine's very conservative. She's not really gonna like do too much like friendliness unless you like, she'll speak, like if you speak, you know, or whatever, whatever. But with me, I go in, it's like, hey. <laughs> And then I think my son is in the middle. <laughs> and see, Nadine is an introvert, but she's a functional introvert. So, and I think the reason why she's a functional introvert because I'm such extroverted. I'm both, but I'm um I'm, I'm I'm extra extroverted. I know I am, but then I'm also introverted. Like I could be alone. I could be by myself. And sometimes I just need to be quiet. Sometimes I don't want to be bothered with nobody. I mean, nobody at all. I just need my like peace by myself. And every last one of my kids are like that. Like we can be the most lovable people to you. We love being around you. But then after like a few days or a couple of weeks, we just like, we'll get back with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I need a, a break. You know what I'm saying? See, the reason why I do well with y'all is because, um, I'm talking to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all receiving my message. And sometimes I let y'all know I got y'all message through the comments, through um, my Facebook messenger, and through my Patreon. Thank you, Patreon, for messaging me. I love y'all. And my GoFundMe. Oh, my God. I got a GoFundMe recently. Wait a minute. They didn't even text me. I'm sitting up here running my mouth. Did y'all hear anything texting me and didn't tell me? Hold on. Let me see what she say. Let me see if... My phone will recognize me today. Sometimes my phone be acting funny, y'all. Sometimes <laughs> I catch y'all right, but that's I have all these looks. <laughs> but my phone, my phone be acting funny on me, y'all. Let me see if I go find me and let me in. Let me see. Don't want to update right now. Come on. Are you serious? They said I got to update, y'all. I don't want to update. Okay, I was. Oh. Oh, I want to uh, say thank you. You know who you are. It's just recently sent me a GoFundMe. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. I really do. And if my phone let me in while I'm talking to y'all, then um, I will let y'all know who it was. I was so happy uh, to see that somebody was still thinking about me, you know? Why is talking about sign in? Stop playing with me. Why is you acting crazy? Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Um, let me X out. This would happen. My GoFundMe usually just let me in when they recognize me. Now what I'm gonna have to do when I when I get to this vlog, I'll put the name right here, y'all. Cause it's trying to be funny. It's not me, <laughs> it's not letting me in. You see what I'm talking about? This right here would make me so mad. My face is right here. Why can't it recognize my face? Hey, hey Alexis. Uh she on the Patreon, she spoke to me. Hey girl. Hey Alexis, Flower Kiss, and Adrian. It's nice to see y'all. Hey Niger. Am I singing that right? Nina. Hey Nina. Hey y'all. I might sign in today on the chat to see if anybody show up. Y'all, I'm just going past Sealy, Texas. <laughs> when I saw it, I was like, Sealy! <laughs> but look. Guess what I saw? Oh my goodness. I saw zebras, a whole flock of them. It had to be about 30 freaking zebras. They were all like from medium to large size. Like I didn't see no babies or no small ones. And then I saw, I saw this one white, like a goat. He was kind of big and stocky and had the long horns. And I mean, real long long and i was like um isn't the zebra between a horse and a donkey not a horse and a goat right so y'all let me know because <laughs> i was like why is all them zebras in there and only this one goat what's why the one goat there where's the rest of the goats and why is he with the zebras child they had no there was no horses anything like that just zebras oh my god i literally was like oh my goodness but i was driving 
Uh, I think the, the the miles per hour was like 75 miles per hour. So I was like doing probably 70 going past. I'm surprised that I even see. I think I seen them because it was just a whole flock of them. And they was like, oh my goodness. We were just like, wow. Oh my God. I wish I would have caught it for y'all. <laughs> I really do. But yeah, y'all, I am pretty much done for the day what I had to do. I am tired, y'all. I'm thinking about ordering me a, they put me on hold, y'all. <laughs> they put me on hold, so I'm going to have to call back. Yeah, they must be busy. I'm thinking about ordering me a dungeon crab, snow crab, blue crab if they got it, and a half a pound of crawfish so I can eat with y'all and try the crawfish. I say half a pound because... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be my first time ever. I wish I could have tried it with my son or somebody that I knew that eat crawfish, but I'm going to be trying it by myself just to see, you know, because they said it's between like a crab and lobster instead of like um, lobster and shrimp. But I don't know. I don't. And then people say that the crawfish tastes better than the lobster. I know how to cook lobster. So lobster is really good. I like lobster. So, I'm hoping that um, I like the crawfish. I do definitely want to try it because there's times where I can't get crab. But if I like the crawfish, I can get crawfish sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because I am in the West. And that's how they, they mostly have snow crab and uh, crawfish and stuff like that. You know, so I'm going to see. I do what I did call uh, a couple of places to try to get me some blue crab. A child, one person talking about they blue crab running fifty four dollars a dozen. They keep that dag on crabs. <laughs> How big are they? Are they big? You talking about some medium? Medium means they small. Okay. Large means they medium. Jumbo means they large. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times they. <laughs> I don't know if y'all, whoever eat crash know what I'm talking about. You be all the first time, I was like, how big are they? Are they small? They talking about some. They medium. They medium small, medium large. When they say medium large, they talking about they just medium, okay? <laughs> they ain't no medium large. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you something. I went to a day, I had bought some crabs, and um, they were running $35 a dozen for female. And she said that they were, uh, uh. They were medium large. Child, them things were small. They were small, but they were medium good. They were so good. They were delicious. That I ain't even complaining about how small they was. They were so good. But that's because I'm a crab eater. I like crabs. So, like, as long as the crab and the crab is good, I'm probably not going to complain about the size too much at all. You know what I mean? Because, like, a lot of people don't eat blue crabs, you know, unless they're from up the north. Because some people eat, some people like crabs, you know. I'm a crab eater, you know, and then you got your crawfish eaters. They really know how to eat the crawfish. And I just be looking like, I think I, I, I think, I don't know. One time I when I felt like I was like, it frightened me <laughs> when I see them eating it. But then as the more I watch them, the more they say it's, it's really like lobster. So I'm like, okay. Yeah, because I, I, I buy lobster tails all the time. You know, lobster tails. But I don't buy the crawfish and I have to look at the face and do all this work to it. But we're going to see. Sometimes, because I know when I um, pick through my crab to get my meat, it's so rewarding and good. So maybe that's how I feel with crawfish. So I'm going to definitely try. I'm going to definitely try, y'all. Yeah, it's so hot out here. I'm starting to get the sniffles. Like, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I should have put on a, a sleeveless shirt today. I really should have. And then it could be this hot freaking wig. I need to get me a new wig. It's time to get a new wig because now I'm just messing with it. Just doing all kind of stuff to it. Just cutting it, braiding it, messing with it. I need to give it to Harlem and just let her have it. You know what I'm saying? Just to have it on her head. <laughs> okay. Tried to get inside Michael for me. It wouldn't recognize me. Today, I guess it's the wig. I don't know. But yesterday, I got in it with no problem. It recognized me. But I did hit the update. And I wonder if the the, the update did that to, to my GoFundMe. Hey, Dean's grabbing me some haagen ice cream. Mm-hmm. Oh, you talking about in a cup? 
Want a stick? Oh, you don't see nothing in the cup? Yeah, give me something in a cup. That way it, it can last till I get home. No wonder the stick gonna melt really fast because it's hot. Um, pick me out something good. Let me try the chocolate peanut butter because I haven't tried that yet. But I know they said the butter pecan was good too. But let me try the chocolate peanut butter. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to wait till I get home and get my password to sign back in because um, the GoFundMe is definitely not letting me in after I did the update. Now I wish I never did the update. See, that's what I'm talking about. They always tell me some update, update, and then you do the update, and then you, you can't even get into your account. It's so crazy. It says it right there. Face ID. So why isn't it letting me in? That's crazy. Maybe I need to turn my phone off again and try it again. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. When I get to the computer, I'll get the person's name. But thank you so much for the GoFundMe. I really appreciate you. I was so happy about that. Thank you. Okay, y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all in a little bit. I'll let y'all know if I get my seafood. I might get it. I might not. It just depends on um, how much it costs and, and, and what they have. Because when they're too high, I'll be like, okay, let me try it another day. You know what I'm saying? But I do want some seafood today. Like... I don't have a taste for anything else. That's all I want is some seafood. I want something good to eat. I had a long freaking day. And now I just want something good my seafood. I told y'all I would let y'all know if I get it. So I did. I ordered. I learned something today. Okay. So I ordered a half a pound of crawfish. I couldn't do that. They said that I had to order. Um, it's $10.95 a pound. But the, the minimal is two pounds. So I had to get two pounds. So I'm like... I ain't know what to do. I ain't know if I should just put my seafood boil you back um, or what. But then I ain't want to do that because <laughs> this is gonna be my first time trying crawfish. The good part is that Nade, I'm, Nadine's gonna try it with me. You got it? Yes, sir. Here you go. Oh. No problem. <laughs> That's all right. I just say you got your car. What's your fucking I appreciate account? it. Thank you. That's everything. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. You. you too. Bye. Okay, y'all. Uh, all right. So I got my food. Um, I'm gonna see if they got parking space over here so I can try my crawfish to just see what it tastes like before I drive all the way home. But I doubt it. I doubt it because they're so packed. But I'm going to drive up and see if they got parking. They, they're so packed inside and out. They are packed. There's usually no parking. Oh, girl, why did I come back here? What the heck? It ain't no way to get out. Let me turn around. This ain't saying one way. Hold on. Let me go this way, y'all. They ain't got... I ain't going to be able to try it here. I'm going to have to go somewhere and pull over. It's, it's too freaking packed. There's no way to travel when I tell you. I mean, how many rolls of cars? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven rolls of cars. The whole back is packed. You don't even think nobody, that many people could fit in this restaurant. Child. But that's okay. I'm going to pull over as soon as I can. So when I pull over, y'all, y'all going to try them. We're going to try it together. It's just gonna taste one just to see if we can do it, okay? I'll be back. Let me get on this road. Okay, y'all. Uh, it's getting ready to get dark, so I'm gonna try them before I. But by the time I get home, it's gonna be super dark. Okay, so. This what the two pound look like. Well, not look like, but it's, it's in this bag. Let me show it to you. Let me get my glove. Y'all, why was I at a light? Literally, I watched the cars, the light change like twice. The third time, I was like, why nobody in this line realizes that this light is broke but me? I started putting on my blinker light and it was like so much traffic, nobody was going to let me in. I had to start inching my way out of here, y'all. This still was at the light when I pulled off. Okay, so this is what two pounds look like. Um, I guess it don't come with no corn and potato or nothing like that. 
I don't see none in here. Okay. And I don't know anything about crawfish, so I don't know if they're small, big, large, or nothing, or anything like that. Okay, so because I'm driving, I'm going to have to put these gloves on. I'm just going to try it out. I get home, I'm going to do an ASMR video so we can see how they sound too. Okay, so my one thing, reason why I would never try crawfish is because I'm scared of what they look like. Like when I see them on camera, they be freaking me out, right? I'm looking now at them. Don't look too bad. Don't feel too bad. No, it kind of feel like a crab. Okay. I don't know. Let me see if I can pick out a decent one. This one got a big claw, right? Ooh, girl, stop playing with me. What? Ah! Look how big this crawfish is. My goodness. Okay, that was big. Okay. So they different sizes. Okay. Wow, that's a big one. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me try the little one first. The little one don't look so like don't it look it don't look as scary, right? Like look at this the different sizes. Look at this little claw. Look how little that is compared to this claw here. This claw, that's a big size claw for a crawfish, right? Oh my god. Okay, let me try a different one. Maybe that one's just too small. They did face like this. <laughs> but she said. So she gonna try it with me, right, Nadine? She said she gonna try it with me. Okay, so I'm gonna pick out another one, y'all, to see if maybe, okay, yeah, that one was a big one. Okay, here go another size, another good size. Ooh, okay. So I'm gonna try the little one first, though. The, the big ones, I, let me try the little one first. Oh, wait a minute, that's another big one. Child, I don't know. Okay, it's big freaking out. They big. Okay, Hanks. Hank got some big crawfish, y'all. Cause these two. Okay. 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 I'm gonna have to try the big one. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Lord, give me okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna break the leg off first, okay? And I'm gonna try the leg. I'm gonna give Nadine a leg too. She said, uh-uh. Okay, she want me. Do you know what that means? You try it first. Is that what that means? She's scared. Okay. Okay. I hope they ain't make it too spicy for me. Okay. Mmm. Wow, that's good. That's good. Mmm. Okay. Oh, wow. They say usually you don't get no meat in the uh, claws. But these got meat in them. So my first time trying them, I got a good batch. Okay. And they good. Oh, wow. I cannot believe it. Look, this is meat, y'all. They said they usually don't get no meat in the claw. That's freaking good. Oh, yeah. Spirit like that one. Okay, that's just the claw, though. I'm sure I'm going to try this claw, but it's good. Okay, I'm going to eat this other claw. Look. when I start eating my crawfish. She gonna want some later. When she see me tearing them up. Oh, y'all, look at this meat. Look at that. Can you see it? It's actually really good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can see why.
They say it remind you of um, crab and lobster. That part remind me of a crab. Okay. All right. Okay, so how do I do this, y'all, again? Um, I don't know how to... I don't know if I break it right here, pinch it, and... Yeah, I think I just... I don't know what I did. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, okay. When you pinch it, the meat come out, the tail. The tail come out. And then this is the part where they take the head off, and they kind of suck... Um, the juice and um, stuff in it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do all that, but I'm, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it because I said I was gonna try it. Okay. They say it's a lot of flavor. Okay. All right, I'm trying it. Okay. I get it. Okay. And then this part. Oh, yeah. I think they said that. Was it a part that you take off right here? And it's supposed to be some meat or something up here. I don't know, y'all. I don't know about that one. I don't know that one yet. I have to look again. But let me just focus on this part right here. Okay, so you, I think they say you pinch it. And see, they, they said when you pinch it, the thing come out in the back. That, you know, like that, uh, like a shrimp do. That part where you take off the shrimp, that come out in the back. Now, I thought this would be easy. It's not as easy as I thought. Oh, oh, you got to uh, squeeze it together. And then it peels right off, like, like uh, when you're peeling like a shrimp. Don't be taking no lessons from me because I'm, I'm just learning. This is my first time ever eating a crawfish. Okay. I'm going to take... Um, I don't know. This part, I see them eat it. But I'm going to take that part off. Okay. Here I go. For my first time trying it, y'all. Here we go. They got the meat right there. It's good. No regrets. It's definitely good. I like it. But I gotta learn. I'm gonna have to watch somebody again. Okay. But that's good, y'all. I, I, I tried my first. <laughs> I tried my first crawfish. It's good. Okay. All right, y'all. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, okay, y'all. Today been a long freaking day. I wanted to remind y'all before I go in that I did get all my packages and I, I didn't go, get to go through them yet. Um, but I'm, I'm going to be doing a bunch of unboxing, uh, probably start in next week. I'm so excited about that. Uh, also, Nadine did taste the crawfish. She told me, she said she didn't want no claws. She wanted me to open up the, 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 the crawfish tail for her. So I did that. And she's like, okay, okay. She feel like it's it's got like the chewy of like the crab and then the softness of like a lobster. So she said she feel like, yeah, it is between crab and lobster and it's really good. It's actually really, really good. Um, I told Nadine, I am going to have some butter and hot sauce. <laughs> butter and hot sauce with mine because I can't just do the sauce. The, uh, the cake, I don't know if it's Cajun. I think it's Cajun sauce. That's what that is. But I'm used to like the obey and things like that, like obey and um, with the crabs and stuff like that. I'm not really into like um, I don't know, like um, it's spicy. But I got like a medium spicy. But I like that obey. But I ain't get no. It ain't have. They ain't, it didn't come with obey or not like that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do like butter and hot sauce, and I'm gonna enjoy them with y'all. I can't wait to hear like the sounds ASMR, how they sound and stuff like that. So I'm excited about that. And a lot of you that watch um, seafood stuff or crawfish stuff, y'all probably know what it sound like ASMR. 
but you know <laughs> i know a lot of y'all love your girl spirit so i'm definitely gonna try it for y'all i actually like it i really like it so the more and more um right now i'm gonna watch um someone how to eat crawfish <laughs> <laughs> again because i feel like i got the tail right and i got the middle part right but i feel like i'm missing some. i got the claws right but i feel like i'm missing something i'm missing something so i'm gonna watch somebody i'm gonna put in how to eat crawfish and and that way i could be better at it when i do eat it all right make sure you like comment and subscribe thank you vlog watchers for being here thank you patreon for always sticking with me supporting me going the extra mile appreciate y'all and um i love y'all Hey y'all. Okay, so look, I got me some crawfish. My first crawfish bag um, is two pounds. And I'm gonna be eating crawfish for the first time. <laughs> I'm kind of excited. Oh my gosh. Another day has gone by. Ooh, I gotta charge my charger. It's a good thing I decided to turn it on. I wouldn't have realized it's really dark. But I just want to show y'all my egg sandwich that my daughter Nadine made for me. It looks so good. Got the spinach, the mail on there. Um, with toast. Mmm. I'm gonna enjoy this. 
I hope that your day is turning out wonderfully. I love me some toast. Oh my God, I love toast and like with the sandwich. This would have been a nice day some more day for y'all. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That was um, such a good is in my video. It's Sunday for me. So have a wonderful Sunday, y'all. Hi, spirit lights. Hello, hello, hello. How y'all doing today? <sighs> I'm starting off my day late. We're getting gas and get ready to go get diamond window fix. They were supposed to come to the house and fix it. The person called us, but we was FaceTime. We was on FaceTime with Dream, and we didn't see the call come through. And then we had saw that we had got a message, so we checked it, and they said that they came, but it was like less than maybe 10 minutes, and they said they already moved on. So we like, dang, oh, man, being on the phone, laughing and cracking up with Dream, we miss... Um, Safe light. I think that's what they call for the for the windows to, re to replace the glass window. Last time we got the back window replaced. Now we're getting the front window replaced uh, because of this. Can you see it right there? Uh, freaking rock. I think it came from one of the trucks off the highway. Okay, we at Safe Light. So that's what it is again. Shoot, they're going to start to know us now. I was going to let the window stay like that, but then, I don't know. I don't want it to get bigger and it crack out of nowhere. Yeah, why did I think they was going to replace the whole window? It looked like they shaved it or something, but you can still see the crack in the window. Huh. <sighs> I don't know why I thought they would replace the window and then I'm not even comfortable with still seeing the crack. That is so weird. Yeah, I'm stuck in traffic. But look how pretty the clouds are. It's so many clouds. Thick. Some of them light. Some of them dark. And then you can see like the sun and the horizon. You know, I mean it's there, but you can see it. It's like far away, but wow, the clouds are really pretty today. I think that made me feel a little bit better after discovering I was not I was not going to get a new windshield. Yep, they said nope. I can't have a new windshield. That if it's repairable, they can repair it. No matter how long I've been paying for the service, if I ever need a windshield, I would get it. Nope, not happening. It'll only happen if they really gotta replace it. That's some bull crap. I called Dream, and I was telling Dream because he he had called me earlier to see what was going on, um, and asked me that I get the window fixed. Well, I was letting him know that I had made an appointment for them to come to where I was to fix my window, and me and Nadine on the phone with Dream. But usually, when there's a phone call coming through, it kind of come down on the phone. You see it. Or, you know, you're here. There's another phone call coming through. We didn't see that. I don't even know how the man phone call got through and we didn't see it. But it showed that eight minutes ago, the person called. So we called back and they like, oh, I already moved on. You're going to have to take the car in if you want it to be repaired and everything. And we was like, dang. For him to got to fix a windshield. I'm surprised he ain't called like two or three times. Like, dang, that was quick to move on that quick. I mean, he, I mean, it's only eight minutes. Like, where you at? Cause you, <laughs> you know, we can be downstairs to get the car fixed. No, he said no, he can't. He, he on his way to his next appointment. Okay, y'all. 
we call Safe Light. They gave us a place to go. So we go to the Safe Light, and then I'm 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 really thinking that the whole windshield is about to be replaced because the reason why I'm thinking is because we've been paying for um, our service, extra service with our car. Like we we pay our car payment, but then we have an extra package that's two hundred dollars more a month that we pay for the life of the time that we have the lease of the car. And we never had to use it. Now the crazy part is we had to get the windshield on the back fixed and it wasn't covered because they the, the same company that we pay say they don't cover the back window. And I was thinking to myself like dang, did they tell us that when they, they offer us this great package? Because I kind of feel like they would have said the back window not included at all. I probably would have said I don't want it. Because how they say they cover the car from the booty to the tootie? Because the tootie means the back, doesn't it? It means the, everything, right? That's how I would take it as a consumer. And they just said, okay, it covered everything from the booty to the except for the window. And I would say, what window? The back window. The big back window? Oh, no, no, no. Because you could put that $200 up. Shoot, paying for a car for four or five years, you know how much money that is? That I could just be able to have the money for a back window. Okay. Anyway, moving on from that, they 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 set us up an appointment to come in the same day, which we was happy about. It's like, oh my god, good, they got us in. We get there, we waited an hour. I'm I'm feeling good because I'm like the window gonna change. I'm gonna feel confident about it because first of all, I don't even know when the, the I know it happened on the highway and I was riding like you know trucks coming past, they zooming whatever. And a lot of I heard something one day and I was like. Did you hear something? His name said, I think I heard something. Then we looking around, we ain't see nothing. But then when I went to go park, I realized that there was a little bitty hole in the window with cracks going around it. So I'm like, okay, some type of pebble must have had hit us. You know what I'm saying? And so, you're welcome. <laughs> so then when I saw that, I was just like, um, what is that, moth? Is that a black moth? I could just second time. I think that's a black moth. That's not, I saw a black moth, but it's a black moth. So. Oh, because I moved up, moved out their way. They always waving, and they wave for a little while, too. <laughs> I was just like, okay, well, first I nod my head, but that's, let me wave back, because they just keep waving. So anyway, when we called them and let them, uh, when we got to when we got to the car, we realized I'm like I'm putting on my seatbelt and I'm like yay I'm looking I'm, thinking, I'm about to look up and think like the windshield gonna be so pretty and sparkly I don't know why I thought it was gonna be new. I said why does it look, still look like our window? Cause every single bug spot, uh, dirt crust, whatever watermark, rain mark is still here. And I said wait a minute our window ain't been changed so I'm looking for the mark and then I I'm looking I'm like. Wait a minute, I still see a dent. I still see cracks. Wait a minute, I said they didn't, they didn't change the windshield. So Nadine go back inside to find out why they didn't change the windshield. They said they, all they had to do, what they required to do is to like repair it. So we contact the company, we sent them pictures. They made us feel like they was gonna help us, like they was gonna, the windshield was gonna get changed and everything. He looks at it and said, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm not gonna be able to approve that. So yeah, if anything happened, if you see another crack or you know, it get white or whatever, contact us and then we'll have the windshield replaced. So, I didn't get another windshield, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm just going, I'm just getting my dinner now and just trying to like, I'm trying to get it off my mind, but I can't keep thinking about how the fact I pay for service. And, and every time I need something done, I can't get nothing done. This is crazy.